today's video, we're going to learn about workshop setup and how to protect your tools with tool magic. All right, so let's get set up here. We have some supplies. We have our tool magic, which we're going to be dipping into all three of our pliers, not the cutters. That would be counterproductive. We want those babies to be super sharp. And we also have a jar. I just happen to have this mason jar laying around. And when the pliers are drying, we're just gonna hang them all kind of like that so they can dry evenly and no one's gonna be running by and touching them and messing up our beautiful little jewelry shield we're gonna put on, on top of them. Well, let's talk tool magic. So we have here tool magic and you're probably wondering what is so magical about it? Well, it's going to take our pliers and the hard edges they have and we're going to coat them with a rubber that's going to make it very soft and so your wire doesn't get marred or have any little nicks or things like that. So before you get started, you want to mix this up very vigorously, almost like you're beating an egg with a stick and it's going to be very smelly. So I recommend doing this with an open window or maybe have a mask on or something like that just to get the fumes out of your face. It's not fun. So once it's all mixed up and ready to go, just go ahead and have your tool dipped and just, we just want the edge of the tool. We don't want it to go too far. We don't, we want to make sure that the joints here are not messed with. And notice that I'm keeping my tools away from each other. We're not having them sandwiched together or anything like that. We want to make sure that they are not touching so they have an even coat. And make sure any drips, you know, you just want to make sure it's perfectly coated like that. And then when you're all set, go ahead and just set it aside, just like so. And this could take about three to five hours to dry, maybe even longer. Don't mess with your tools until they're completely dry. I have one here that's already ready to go. And uh, you can work with it. It's, it's, you know, it's really easy to work with on all your wires and it's not gonna mar up any of the wires. Um, if you don't like how thickness, if you don't like the thickness of your, your tool magic dip, you can start over. Oh yes, yeah, so you can just go ahead and take it off, just like a rubber, gl rubber glove here. So voila, see, it came off easy. And you'll want to remove your, your, your rubber coated when it starts to get tarnished and it looks kind of yellow and nasty. Maybe you got some little tears in it. Go ahead and just completely remove it and start all over again. Or you can add another coat on top of your previously dried rubber coating to add a more thickness level. Or you can just start over if you just didn't like how it came out. You can also add you can also add acrylic paint to pigment your tool magic. You can make it perfectly coated to your sensibilities. Maybe I'll bring in pink acrylic, maybe I'll bring in pink acrylic paint next time so I can have all my tools match my tool stuff because I like pink. So now that all of our ver tools are coated with the tool magic, we're just gonna let them sit here until they're dry, which could take three to five hours or it might even take overnight. So just make sure you don't mess with your tools and mess up any of the beautiful coating we have until they're completely dry. Also make sure not to try to speed up the dry time for these. I know it takes a while and you're eager to get started in making jewelry. I am too, but it's going to make ripples and bends and maybe even some cracking if you start to speed it up with a hairdryer or some other kind of heat tool. So just go ahead and just take some time, maybe do some yoga and meditate while your tools are drying. And we're gonna talk about our work workplace setup. You also may have noticed that on my workspace I'm working on a rubber mat. This is going to help make everything completely smooth, not porous, and I'm able to run my wire on here 